Hey everyone, with the advent of LLMs like ChatGPT, which is recently released as GPT-4.0, or else the LLMs which are running on Grok, for example, um, your Llama 3s or Mixtrels which are running on Grok Inference, there are lots of use cases which can be solved with the help of LLMs that have been opened up recently. And I thought we are gonna, we would start a playlist where I will solve real world use cases with the help of LLMs. And this is the first video of that where I'm going to share you about a 25 plus use cases in AI, which can be solved with the help of LLMs. And this is going to be focusing on different industry. I've taken around top 12 industries in, a, in the world right now. And in each industry, I've taken two projects. So that adds to 24 and there is a finally one industry in which I have taken more than two, right? So that is about the introduction of this video. And now let's see about the different use cases which are there in different industries. First, starting up with the major industries, which is medical and healthcare. In medical and healthcare, AI plays a lot of important role in it. And for me, I think the most important use case would be a primary health doctor. Because nowadays people are fearing about uh, whatever diseases are coming up, which might be small. And we can possibly make a primary health doctor with the help of whatever architecture it is. And guys, in this video, I'm not going to speak about the technical architecture. I'm going to say about the use case, which I'll be solving. We'll see about the architecture in each of those videos, because this is going to be a playlist of around 25 to 26 video each project will be a video and uh, we'll see in that in detail all right so in primary health doctor the idea would be that it will be a chatbot in which you can ask question and it will answer possibly even provide a medical prescription of tablets all right and the other thing would be with chatgpt 4.0 coming onto picture it is easy to do real-time image captioning so that we can provide a system which will provide an information around the surroundings ab about the surroundings to the vision impaired people all right so for those we can build the second application which is vision for blind and in finance industry as usual the most sought after use case would be stock trading bot and there are lots of things which we can do with the help of llms there and for that we can try to make an ai architecture agent architecture or whatever we can do with the help of that okay and then there is another one, which is investment analysis. So the idea is that uh, there are lots of investment made by people uh, and we can make a dashboard, which will make analysis of investment or even monthly financials analysis. Okay. So whatever you have made and how you can improve your monthly financials, something like that. All right. So that would be finance uh, department. And then coming on to the business department, the most important thing for me would be to make a platform to create customer support chatbot. Okay. So customer support is a very important process in any business and we can make a framework for creating such a chatbot. And then another one would be if you are making a business, right? It is very important for you to understand the market for that specific product. So given a product, uh, let's say chatbot, we need to understand what are the existing products which are doing whatever we are seeing that we will do. And then we can identify that what are the problems in there and what are the solutions we have provided, which are going to favor the scales on our favor. Okay. Tip the scales in our favor. So for that market research is very important and we can automate that as well with the help of AI. Next important thing is information technology, which is the normal IT department or software. The first one would be pair programming or coding assistant, and uh, it will help us to remove a lot of jo uh, jobs, like, you know, the tiring jobs, like writing the same code again and again or uh, for example if you are writing a machine learning code right it is going to remain the same for a lot of things or you know uh, we'll be searching over stack or flow documentation and all to automate that we can make a coding assistant and then another thing would be process automation for example an llm for web scraping an llm for automation of your daily workflow uh, which is a repetitive in nature to automate those kind of processes we can use AI. Okay. So that would be the use cases in information technology. In marketing, uh, the main thing which I have found is one is writing content for marketing, all right, be it for email newsletters, be it for posters or whatever it is, depending on the type of medium, it is important to write the content. And that is one important use case in marketing. And another thing is SEO. So SEO is not just about website. You no, know? uh, if you want to make your post 
come up in LinkedIn a lot. I have heard that there are lots of techniques in SEO for that as well. So we'll try to make an SEO agent for marketing, not just for web and uh, it is for all platforms. Okay. So that is about marketing. And then we have human resources department. So human resource department is mainly on interview and all. And also maintaining the customer uh, or the employee, whoever it is, their satisfaction. Okay. So what I was thinking is we'll see about the one aspect uh, because for satisfaction, uh, you're going to see the feedback and probably we can make a classification out of it. Though I said 25 plus, I'm just seeing uh, other use cases which I have not even written here. Okay. So if there is a company, there are always going to be feedback. So probably you can make a ticket making system where based on the feedback, it will say, okay, this is very important. You need to move like uh, something like that. Okay. And here for human resources, what I've taken is first one is resume, ATA system and job description writer. All right. So given a job position, right? Uh, it is hard to write a job description and that to, to match the industry uh, standards right now, it is very harder. Okay. So it will require a lot of research on what is required in the industry. And then you need to understand uh, what are the requirements of your company. So we can create a platform which will research for us and write the JD. Along with that, if thousands of resumes are uh, provided, right, then we can make a resume ATA system which will try to uh, match these uh, JD and resume uh, together. And then it will rank all of those with some scores. Okay. So for that, we can use the resume ATA system and JD writer. This is one use case together. And then another one is an AI interviewer. Okay. So given a role, we can try to find based on the company also, probably we can uh, try to find whatever uh, relevant questions are there for that role. And then probably we can make an interview out of it where the AI itself will evaluate. Guys, actually there are some five or four startup ideas within these 10 use cases, 12 use cases, which I've discussed right now. And probably you can also try to make a startup level uh, product based on the use cases, which we do. Or if you want to build that kind of level of project also, let me know. I'll try to build those kind of level of project. Okay. So that we can deploy and market it over internet. And then for social media, which is probably the best industry right now, uh, because if we want to do anything in our favor, social media is the best weapon. So for that, uh, the two major social media right now for professionals, it will be LinkedIn and for, uh, for uh, informal, it will be Instagram. So writing posts for that for content creators is very hard. Uh, as a content creator, I know how hard it is to write content for LinkedIn. So we can write uh, an AI system to write contents for Instagram and LinkedIn given a common content okay it will format the post for those two major applications and then bpo business process outsourcing in that if you see it is just calling right so even we can automate that to a bit first one is uh we'll have a bpo support for marketing of our product so we can make a sales agent so given a query for example about our gym saying like okay so what do you want a gym membership and these are our uh, facilities something like that so for that, we can make a sales agent with the help of AI, which will be able to talk. Okay. Over a call. I'm just saying it is an AI calling agent. Okay. And then another one would be technical support. If there is someone be facing any error, any error, AI will call and then uh, try to solve it. If it isn't able to solve, it will connect to a real person. Okay. So that is BPO industry. And then in the education industry, there are lots of use cases and out of which I've taken the top two use cases in my opinion, which is creating an AI teacher, which will teach you on any concept you ask. And then another one would be, uh, once you teach, right, it is very important to test the person's knowledge. So for that, what we'll do is we'll create a platform where given uh, content, it will try to generate question and answer in different formats. Okay. So that is about education. Next entertainment. I'm just generalizing it as entertainment where the first one would be movie recommendation system where for movie, uh, given a flavor of what you love, we'll try to make a movie recommendation system. And then another one would be YouTube automation. Okay. So I'm putting it in YouTube automation because uh, I don't know where to put this YouTube. Should I put in social media or is it a separate industry by itself? But since YouTube is an entertainment industry, I'm just putting it uh, in entertainment, but we can also classify it under different use cases or different industry use cases. Okay. So to automate the YouTube workflow, we have YouTube automation. Next is probably my favorite industry, which is what I'm working in, 
which is AI industry. You know, I'm tired of writing uh, rag applications and fine tuning applications, uh, fine tuning code. Uh, I'm very tired of that. So what I was thinking is probably we can make a platform which will do, which will provide us a low code or no code platform for us to fine tune or uh, make a rag application based on whatever we have. Okay, based on our LLM choice, it will be able to do all of these by itself, given a button click or something like that. Okay, so for that we'll write an application, and then another one would be synthetic data generation. Nowadays, data is good; it is being created, but for custom use cases, it is hard to create synthetic data. So we'll try to make a framework which will create synthetic data. And finally, I've just classified it as personal industry. Okay, so this is not focusing on any industry. This is just to make your life easier. So for this first one would be Jarvis to automate anything in your computer. And then Rabbit R1 clone. Rabbit R1 is paid and uh, we are going to make a clone of it, which will be open source and free to use. And uh, it is hard to track, keep track of emails, right? And replying the emails, if, especially if you're a content creator or a business person. So we'll write an email automation system, which will automate your email, create drafts, and you can check the draft and then just click send button. And then finally, uh, make an AI app which will have Zapier integration with it so that it will be able to communicate with 6000 plus APIs which would include Gmail or your Google Drive, lot of things which will help you in real life, right? And that is how you can uh, find AI use cases in uh, probably there are 25 plus use cases which I have discussed. 